last session what are we discussing about and this is getting attached to still for the previous batch what are we discussing about in the last class one which we were discussing yeah what is the property property is it's a it's a like variable it holds a value at run time at run time it holds a value property is just like a variable in other programming languages at run time it is going to hold a value that's it that is about property and property you are going to create under data model category and then what is section what is a section which is used to design a user interface section is a class where we can design our user interface see i i told so far so many times the reason why i asked if that it's a waste of time section is a html rule we can use it to deliver i will i will interface. change my network connection on this is you may find some disturbance for a while just hold on for one minute i'm changing my network connection audio connection now this should have a good strength of connectivity yes what is it come again what is a property it's a variable sure. kind of variable okay. what is a section can it is a HTML. tool to define or design user interface if you want to create user interface you need a section section is required whenever i have given a business requirement create so and so screen immediately in your mind you should get an idea you need to create section that is the ultimate rule using which you can design ui understand clear okay so let us log into the application which we are uh, working on what was the application devimpl@sbi.com password rules okay how many of you are there offline still who are at to make the fees payments apart from this three anyone else offline who are at to make the fees payment pending with fees payment one anyone else okay we need all your details just give me a minute pending name and whatsapp number put a heading name whatsapp number write down and pass on like this okay and online any how meeting link will be changed from monday now uh, this is what like section is a role which you have to create whenever you want it to design user interface if you want to create ui the role that you are going to deal with is section and now yesterday we have seen how to create properties and how to create section so after that when i execute the section directly i can even execute directly but that is not the way how you design the transactions in bbm transaction model how are you going to design the transaction model using bbm how are you going to design demo class you attended right those who have attended demo session transaction model you design by using flow flow chart like a process okay so it should be there in a process or flow then only your transaction will be done means anything you create ultimately it should be added into a flow so let's go ahead now and let me show you a flow here you go see after you create section section we created right so i did not add any button into the section i have added only respective controls and all i did not add any button inside this section usually any time if you are creating a screen in a transaction you may need submit button or continue button create button or some button you need on click of the button some action will be done maybe going to next screen or storing the data into your table and displaying a message something action will be done 
so while you are working with pega you don't need to add action buttons it may be submit or cancel button also can be there right i don't want to proceed forward i want to cancel i can cancel otherwise save also possible save means temporarily you save i'll come back and open once again and later point of time i'll submit permanently okay so whenever you are working with other programming languages buttons and all you have to add by yourself on click of a button on click event what action to be done all that you have to write as a developer but while working with pega you don't need it see in order to provide action to the user interface user interface means section screen in order to provide action to the user interface pega provides a rule that is called flow action what is the rule rule type flow action i will show you flow action is a rule which you can create under process category what is the category just i am creating just for the sake of explanation okay under process category i'll give you navigations later see what does it says section what is the section you place your cursor here and click the down arrow you will see available section choose the one and say at run time at run time you need to call the flow action if you call flow action flow action is going to load that load section as well when section loads you will see the screen like this right along with buttons flow action means flow action is container of section flow action is container of section which will add an action to the user interface what are the actions it will add it will give automatic action to ui submit action that is what you can remember as of now so which action will be automatically added submit action after you finish creating flow action then you will create a final rule which is meant for processing the transactions what is that final rule flow okay i will show you just as a practice later i will give you uh, this navigation and all so flow action is a container of section which adds an action to the ui what is the default action that will, that it is going to add submit apart from submit save cancel also it will add okay next rule i am going to tell you i have already explained about properties i have explained about section now i have explained about flow action so these are mandatory rules that you need to create when you are designing a transaction model to display a screen you are being given with a business requirement design a transaction model to create a screen and display it to the users when they initialize the transaction you should automatically get the idea in your mind you need to create properties you need to create section you need to create flow action and you need to create a flow this is a basic template of understanding make sense everyone clear flow i created when you create a flow this is how a default flow gets created with three flow shapes how many flow shapes three flow shapes you will be getting the three flow shapes that you have here the first two flow shape green color this is called as start shape what do you call this start shape start shape is the one where the transaction will get initiated start shape is the one where transaction is going to get initiated and the next two flow shape that you are seeing here i will show you in the palette of flow shapes assignment what is the flow shape that you are seeing here assignment assignment is the shape which you can use in order to integrate uh, oh, sorry in order to call flow action for now you understand like this in order to call flow action into flow what is the flow shape you need assignment but you do not call flow action on the assignment shape see assignment shape has two connectors one is inward connector and the second one is outward connector you can call flow action into a flow and means your flow action that you have created you make it part of the transaction by calling into the flow by using assignment shape outward connector when i double click on outward connector am i getting the option of calling flow action yes or no so now if i click the down arrow here i will see all available flow action i created a flow action by name what test i will select this and submit test flow action is been called i can make a label so that i can see this see if you don't have a label given it will not display anything if you have a label given the same name if i give a label i can understand a flow action is being called here with name test everyone clear so flow is created so in a flow action you have assignment shape assignment shape you need to add in a flow flow whenever you wanted to call a screen means flow action you are as per your requirement you need to design a 
screen and make it part of the transaction so you need a pro you need properties you need a section you need flow action you need flow with which flow shape assignment shape that assignment shape will have outward connector there is the facility to call the flow action you call the flow action and you save and you make the transaction so in order to make the transaction i am directly running as a developer i have i have executed don't bother about this particular screen displayed just close this and then create see here the screen that is going to get displayed now is the flow action okay just wait a minute is this the same that we have designed this is what i am expecting but in the design of ui i did not place any buttons like submit save answer did i place it i did not place but still i got it who has provided these buttons flow action has provided these buttons submit actually ultimately there is some other rule i'll tell you later but as of now flow action see when you enter the information here okay you are going to enter the data here and then submit submit action is been done i don't bother about save cancel now now data is been submitted and also data has been stored in the back end table i'll tell you where it has been stored just i am trying to explain you what is the purpose of flow action and what is the purpose of flow how to create flow and all i will again show you in a screenshot uh, in a document screenshots and all so purpose of flow action as of now for us the flow flow action is a container of section which adds action to action to the respect to user interface section means user interface right if you want a user interface with a predefined action of submit save cancel then what is the rule that helps you flow action flow action is a container of section adds action to the ui after flow action is done you create a flow to design your transaction model i want to flow, call the flow action into flow basically what is the flow shape i need assignment shape where would you call the flow action using assignment shapes outward connector you call it and save done that's it understand everyone clear so i am giving a requirement to create a screen that screen should should be displayed to business users as part of their transaction process okay so you need to follow all these steps create all the properties required section you create and add controls and map the controls back to properties and flow action you create embed the section into flow action means properties you created added properties inside section added section inside flow action and the flow action inside flow understand all this you have done these are the sequence of steps usually to be done make sense everyone clear now see the flow that you have created whenever i initiate so whenever i make a transaction the screen ui flow action is loading inside flow action section is loading inside section controls are loading flow action is loading inside flow action what is loading section inside section what are the loading controls the data you enter in the controls will be given to properties which are associated with the control make sense everyone clear how it is functioning online everyone of you i am going to unmute now are you clear just i am explaining yes. you what yes. has to be done just a high level yes. explanation yes. not in depth yes yes we'll see that yes. as we go on thank you so much and here you go now see we are going to see now how to create flow action for the requirement which we are in the middle like section up to section we are done right so now we will see how to create a flow action for it how to create a flow this flow you can leave it just a test flow to explain i have created okay so write down business requirement um i will create a document press working with flow action flow these two we are going to deal with today see i did not tell you complete details about flow action okay that is not my way of teaching my way of teaching is only telling one or two points in a rule today and maybe after 5 days again other points after 10 days again other things like this whenever we come across that options to be used that time only i'll explain everything le learning on same day in single day you will not be able to even understand if i tell you post processing pre processing available in flow action now itself 
you cannot understand that. That's not the better, right way of teaching. What is this? 595, huh? 595, July 5th, 15th, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, now, 9 a.m., okay. Write down. Yesterday we created screen, right? The screen which we have created, the screen which we have created, in the brackets or in the braces you write down, customer details form. That is what we created yesterday, right? The screen which we have already created. The screen which we have created, in the single quotes or brackets you write down, what is the screen name? Customer details form. Customer details form should be made as a first screen should be made as a first screen should be made as a first screen comma during insurance during vehicle insurance during vehicle insurance policy processing during vehicle insurance policy processing so during the time of vehicle insurance policy processing, we need to make it as a first screen. That is what our requirement. The requirement says that the screen which you already have should be made as first screen that should be displayed as a first screen in the transaction processing of vehicle insurance. So that means it is indirectly telling remaining rules you have to create, flow and everything you have to design. Understand everyone clear? So let's go ahead and do it now. So as per the requirement, so creating vehicle insurance, transaction model this is what i am going to do right whatever that i have told you i am just writing it in simple words okay design algorithm so now what are the rules to be created first step what do i need to create so i'll write down this way section is already available with us we have already created section is done next create flow action and embed the above section next step create flow Call the above flow action into flow using assignment shapes outward connector. Is that the thing that we need to do? Assignment shape outward connector. Okay, I created all this. There is one more step which I did not explain. Okay, but I will be doing here. You don't need to write down about design algorithm steps. All of you. You need to write down whatever the requirement I told. Enough. I will be sharing this document, right? So no need to again write and don't waste your time. Listen here and try to understand how to write the algorithm of steps. That is important. Okay, write it in your mind if you want to write. And focus fully here. Now, now what is the next one? I did not tell you this step. So um, choose the below options. I'll explain you after practical is done. the above flow what are the options again here 4.1 what is the what are the options i'll tell you so go to process tab of the flow choose the checkbox creates a new work object this is one step 4.2 what is that scroll down in this tab and choose PY case management and call in government PY case management default in place of PY default for the work parties option for the work parties option. So that's it done. So these are the steps which I need to do out of all these steps for the steps you don't know. Fourth step, we'll practically do it and later I'll explain you. It will take around one hour to explain both step itself. Okay. So first let's do practically all this what we have discussed. So yesterday you are done with creating property section in the framework, right? As of now, I'll go everything with framework only. Okay. Right click on this and create. Okay. I'll write down here. Creating what? Creating flow action. Continuation. This is continuation to yesterday. What is the category in which you create flow action is? Flow action can be created under process category. Flow action can be created under 
process category i have chosen the option of flow action under process category i have chosen okay and this is the form that is displayed so any rule that you are creating in pega where you should be dealing with what is this uh, giving a name label name and you should create it under some application under some class rule set i'll tell you later you as of now you go with default options what is the name i can give this flow action is related to customer details flow action fa is my naming convention it is not mandatory while you are practicing you have to give you can give anything that's up to you okay when you join a project just closely observe very few rules taking from some categories when you read the names of the rules how they are giving you will be able to easily understand what is the naming convention that is followed in your project okay now here you go context i am changing it to framework application context i am highlighting and giving means that is what i have made the change every time i don't need to write change the application context as framework and all i have already written on day one you follow till then okay till now and remaining things are whatever that is loaded create and open create and open see here create and open and here you go now section it is asking what is the section that you wanted to include in flow action you don't need to remember the names of the section and you don't need to manually type it you already created right if you click the down arrow it should come if it is not coming in the down arrow means you did not create it simple don't come back and ask me i have created but it is not coming you should realize that you did not create it maybe you forgot to save it after creation save this save i'm sorry why it was been lost maybe i removed it okay save save done completed flow action is ready what is the next rule to be created create flow simple okay how do i create flow flow also you create under process category only flow can be created under which category process category right click create process and then flow okay there are different different navigations that you can use in order to create the rules this is a basic navigation and what is the name of the flow begin auto insurance begin auto insurance transaction that is the meaning flow name i am giving spaces but actual name is this one okay remaining options are same whenever you create a flow by default a flow gets created with three flow shapes start shape assignment shape end shape start shape is the one where your transaction gets initiated assignment shape purpose is to call the flow action into flow to display the ui with default action buttons submit save cancel end shape is the one where transaction gets finished completed understand everyone clear a flow should have one and only one start shape a flow should have one and only one start shape what does it mean starting up point of the transaction should be only one by a flow a flow can have at least one end shape what is the meaning of at least one end shape one or more end shapes are also possible see i can add one more end shape i can connect the other way around see because you have less number of flow shapes you may not be able to realize see manager approved it will go in one direction to end shape saying that resolved approved manager has rejected it will take another direction to reach the another end shape where the transaction status will be resolved rejected by manager like this a flow can have at least one end shape but it must have one and only one start shape understand clear everyone okay so this is about uh, what is this flow okay and now i wanted to call the flow action where do you call the flow action call the flow action into assignment shapes outward connector so now you can do this double click on outward connector of assignment shape it opens properties panel it opens properties panel okay let me go ahead and double click on this is the outward connector i have double clicked on it okay i cannot give you the navigation to double click and all okay that you should know now here is the place where i can call the flow action by default the name is prefilled with flow name but leave it you can remove it 
Click the down arrow on your keyboard. You will see all available flow actions. You will have only one. I have to test flow action created. So now choose this from the drop down. See, if I call a flow action and if I submit, it will not display any label here. I do not know what flow action is being called. I want a label on the connector. Then what I can do is just for your information, copy this name and paste here. And doing this, doing this, what will happen? Connector will show the label that is going to make a better sense to the developers to understand. Okay, customer details flow action is being called on this connector. Whether you fill the label or not, it will not impact any processing. Even though you do not give any label at the top, it doesn't matter. But whether you have called here or not, that is the main point. You called here or not. But this one optional. But why did I do that? Just to better understand, I have a flow action being called with the so and so name. After you are done with this, see this assignment also label you can change by default. The assignment name is same name as flow name, same name as flow name. I want an assignment name to be meaningful to what I am trying to do there. What I am trying to do here at, at this particular step in the transaction, what are we trying to do? We are trying to collect the information from the customer. So simply, I am not giving screenshot for this. I can single click on this. I will remove this backspace. What is this for? Collect customer details. Is it going to make sense to other developers now? So when some other developer come here and when he is going to look at this assignment, he'll be able to understand why we are using this assignment. Be see, it is not only one flow shape. There can be n number of flow shapes in a flow. But as of now, at the very beginning, we have only one screen. After this, one more screen is there. One more assignment will come. Okay. Now looking at this will give you better impression, better idea, understanding and idea about this. And now here you go. Go to process tab of the flow. This is the last step here. Go to process tab of flow. So current you are in diagram tab. Present you are in which tab? Diagram tab. You go to where? Process tab. It is not working for me. Even for you also, if it is not working properly, save this. Okay, after you save, still if it is not working, close it and this side. Process category flow. Yes. See, it, it may be functioning for you, the process tab and all. Maybe I have some issue. I don't know. Go to process tab. If it doesn't work, what would you be doing? Save it, close it, go to class and open from there. And now you go and do the remaining things. What is the option that we need to select? Creates a new work object. Select the above option. Select the above option. Creates a new work object. Okay, now scroll down. I, I have written all this in the document. Work parties. Change the work party. Choose the above option to be what is that? PY case management default. I will explain you all of this after the practical is completed. Okay, click the down arrow. You will see PY case management default. You need to place the cursor there. And click the down arrow, then it will come in the drop down. Then you select it and then you save the flow. Completed. Whatever the tasks that minimum you have to do, you have finished it. And now I am going to run the flow. So run the flow to initiate business transaction. Okay, for that, click on action menu. Then choose what? Choose run option. This is the action menu. So this is the flow overall I have created. This is the action menu. I am going to choose what? Run. Now you can enter some information here. And then submit. What happens after you submit the, this data? That and all later, not now. Okay, we will discuss going forward. This is what you created a transaction and you designed a transaction model. You have seen, executed it, 
and you have tested it everything looks good and this data should have got stored into into a table in the rule base what is rule base what is rule base business rules database okay in pega that you call it as rule base okay that is discussed during the demo and now what are these options that i have selected i have selected creates a new work object and i have chosen py case management default and right each one i'll explain you one after other okay look at here first thing first thing i'll explain you see here i am going to explain you only one thing that is why did i choose this option i am not going to tell you what is work party and all that you don't need to understand now this is not the right time but i am going to tell you only one reason that is why i have removed default and why i have chosen py case management default to understand this i am going to keep it as it is how it was before how it was before so without changing what if i don't change it so that i can understand why what is the need to change i i am just placing i have just placed it back what it was before and now i am making a transaction means i did not choose py case management default i got a screen displayed did i design the screen did you design the screen are we expecting the screen we are we did not design and we are not expecting this particular screen to be visible this is actually called as new harness you don't need to bother about this technical term okay this as of now for me this is unwanted screen which i am not expecting understand give me a minute so as of now for me this is an unwanted screen which i am not expecting the moment i initiate flow by initiating transaction i am expecting my customer details form to be displayed but pega is giving some unwanted screen as of now it is unwanted but there is a purpose for it i will tell you later okay so in order to avoid the display of new harness that unwanted screen for now i have to choose the option of py case management default here now is that screen getting displayed that screen is not coming i am getting my screen whatever that i am expecting so only for this reason i have selected understand everyone clear don't ask me what is work party okay that's not the question the question here is only why did we choose py case management default under the process tab of the flow the reason for choosing py case management default under process tab of flow is to avoid the display of some unwanted screen that is technically called a new harness no need to bother about technical terminology now to avoid that i have done it okay that's it that's what i am expecting is happening and now let us discuss about this option what is the option creates a new work object fully focus here everyone okay see now creates a new work object option i have selected what if i do not select this first let me tell you uh, in two different point of view i am going to explain you this option i'll explain you functional point of view at the very beginning later i'll tell you in the same technical okay functionally what i say is selecting the option creates a new work object makes the workflow executable what is meant by making it executable okay i am giving a statement selecting the option creates a new work object makes the workflow executable what does it mean what if i do not select if you do not select it won't be executable means selecting this option makes the flow executable it means you will get a run option in the and you will be able to click on run and it will be executed it will, it will create a transaction like this if you don't select then run option should not be available here thus it will not be executable let us see if the statement statement is been justified or not how can i test it i will uncheck this and then save it i will uncheck this and save it this is how it was if i do not select this option flow should not be executable right let us try to experience the same now see here action drop down you have run option am i able to execute or not but the statement what i have made is it been justified or not is it been justified 
it is not being justified i told you selecting the option creates a new work object is going to make the flow executable that you will be able to make the transactions i tested the same without selecting it is functioning as as it is right so the statement is not being justified i will tell you the reason why so we are going to learn about another concept in between and we, again we will come back to create new work object now you see here go to the diagram tab of the flow in the diagram tab of the flow i am going to double click on the flow action assignment shape outward connector to see the flow action i am removing the name of the flow action meaning that i am not calling the flow action without calling the flow action empty flow i am trying to save this it is been saved successfully there is a warning don't bother about warning as of now i'll show you okay it is been saved successfully now what is the warning message that is available i'll read out the warning it says this flow is in draft mode this flow is in draft mode draft mode suppresses most of the errors this is the only statement that we need to focus as of now this flow is in draft mode system says that the flow you created is now in the draft mode and this is going to suppress most of the errors what are the errors that it has suppressed see even though i did not call a flow action in the assignment shape outward connector and if i save it it is saving successfully without throwing any error message what if i turn off the draft mode present at present you see here draft on means at present the flow is in draft mode first of all what is the meaning of drafting in general what is the meaning of draft drafting means something which is in progress i am drafting i am drafting some document okay so what do you mean by drafting a document it is still in progress it is not finalized one maybe you will review later and you will finalize later understand that is what the general meaning of draft drafting in pega draft flow means a flow for which the draft mode is on it is called as draft flow draft flows are dummy flows just for demonstration purpose draft flows are dummy flows there is no need to call the rules which you have to call in the flow without calling anything you design entire transaction model just to in order to give a demo to business you don't need to create all the rules all the rules in order to give a demo demo session to business about the transaction model create a flow add all the flow shape don't call any rules save it it will get saved successfully if it is in draft mode because it is a dummy just for demonstration i am going to turn off the draft mode now before i turn off look at here when i double click on the assignment shape outward connector in the flow action field you do not see any star mark there is no star mark right how i can turn off the draft mode i have to click on this button i click on this button to turn off the draft mode draft mode is off are you getting error message and trying to save the same i'm getting error message what does it says flow action value cannot be blank outward connector of the assignment must have a flow action double click on outward connector are you seeing a star mark beside flow action this time star means mandatory field calling a flow action into assignment shape outward connector of a flow is mandatory for the real flows if it is a draft flow no matter whether you call it or not because it is a dummy so draft mode suppresses most of the errors justified or not now i am calling the flow action customer details flow flow action submit and then save error gone warning also gone okay so you understand what is a draft flow draft flow is a dummy flow for demonstration purpose it suppresses most of the errors whenever you create the flow after your design is completed turn off the draft mode done completed now come back to process step so far everyone clear online resources respond on the charting window are you clear every one of you okay fine repeat kala march pa wal malli okay now here you go in the process tab you have creates a new work object i already told this creates a new work only selecting this option makes the workflow executable now you go to action menu save this i did not select go to action menu do you have run option 
the statement i made with respect to the real flow if it is draft flow dummy flow there is no matter whether you select or not that's that's not a big deal at all so if you do not select the option creates in your carpet flow will not be executable the statement with respect to real flow not the draft flow now the statement is justified or not the statement has been justified now i'll select the option why do you need to select the option creates in your carpet in order to make the workflow executable to initiate the business transactions now you got the run option run method done okay this is the statement justification understand clear this is only functional point of view technically we'll start our explanation now okay everyone clear what is creates any work of it option in the flow this option makes the workflow executable that is statement with respect to real flow not a draft flow okay what is a draft flow draft flow is a dummy flow in order in order just for demonstration purpose okay for draft flow you select this option or don't select this option not a big deal at all okay everyone clear so far let's go ahead now and discuss about this creates a new work object option further see now technical point of view selecting this option you are you are instructing the process commander that prpc that when transaction is being initiated it has to create a work object in the background that is what the instructions you are providing to the process commander you are giving an instruction to process commander when transaction is being initialized it has to create a work object means you are saying the process commander this flow should be available for initializing the business transaction and when transaction is being initiated it has to create a work object in the background okay so now look at here see you go to an atm center and you have made a withdrawal transaction okay so you have made 10 withdrawal transactions okay different different withdrawal transactions you have made how the system the system should understand right you made 10 transactions how the system is going to distinguish between each transaction to make it as a unique one how it will distinguish by by using an id what do you call that id transaction id there should be a transaction id for each transaction you make there should be an unique id right so you take an insurance policy what would you be getting to identify your policy policy number you take one more insurance policy are you going to get the same number or a different number you're going to get a different number right you have 10 bank accounts 10 bank account bank accounts will have same account number or different account numbers different account numbers will be there each one is going to be a unique one okay now see here whenever we initialize a business transaction because we said the process commander creates a new work object the moment you initialize business transaction in the background in the background means you cannot see in the background a work object will get created what will get created a work object will get created technically i will tell you what is a work object maybe after two days but functionally as of now work object is a virtual entity that's it it is virtual entity means what is the meaning of virtual entity an entity is getting created in the background i am calling it as virtual entity what does it mean virtual entity means which you cannot see but you can experience to have it okay by its id so a work object is been created in the background now see here look at here work object created right just give me a minute they are not providing the option here just hold on a minute i'm just searching for something which we are not regularly using these days that's why pega has removed it okay leave it work object is created okay where it has been created see you initiated the flow work object has begin its creation here itself work object is created at start shape work object has traveled from start shape to step 1 step 1 is start shape step 2 assign now work object when it reaches assignment shape it is displaying the flow action at the flow action it is waiting for a user to perform an action i am a user right so i am going to enter some data here okay i am going to enter some 
details here and here you go and submit now the moment you click on submit work object will travel from this position to next position next step so step by step work object will roll through you can imagine work object like a ball the ball is created in the background ball started rolling from step 1 to second step ball is waiting at the second step to collect all the information it will hold all the data and move forward to the next step when you click on submit understand everyone clear so now whenever we initiate whenever we execute a flow a work object will get created in the background work object is going to travel through the flow from start shape to till end shape on its way to get result on its way on its way to get result work object is finished now completed resolution is been done okay when it reaches end shape it is resolved okay work object is going to get created and it travels through the flow from start shape to till end shape on its way to get result it's done now see here once the work object reaches assignment shape the data you are entering right let me show you once again okay here you go i am going to enter some information now and here you go this is the data where is this data what is happening with this data after i click on submit the moment you click on submit the entire data that is part of the transaction here we have only one step there may be n number of steps right entire data that is part of the transaction will be held by the work object means work object holds entire transaction data beginning to ending beginning to ending all the data will be there with one entity called work object understand everyone clear so work object holds entire work object data make sense clear everyone now i'll talk about further later pages and all i'll tell you only you understand as of now work object as a virtual entity it is holding the data okay you cannot see the data as of now are you seeing the data what it is holding and all no i'll tell you where to see later now see work object is the one whenever you initialize the business transaction work object gets cre created work object travels through the flow from start shape to end shape to get uh, on its way to get result work object while traveling it will go step by step all the transaction information that is part of the transaction will be held by the work object work object holds all the data data means property plus its value correct first name value last name value age value gender value this is what as of now we have data and now every work object that gets created is considered to be one transaction every time you execute a flow you are making one transaction each transaction should be uniquely identified right so every time when you execute a flow one work object will get created each work object can be uniquely identified by an id called work object id each work object can be uniquely identified by an id called work object id you see this is the id number c dash 18 18010 c dash 18011 one more work object i'll create c dash 18012 one more work object i'll create c dash 18013 like this a work object id gets created with a sequential numeric number generated and it will have a prefix also and it will have a prefix also say work object id whenever you create a flow work object gets created work object can be uniquely identified by an id called work object id work object id as an example looks like this where it has two parts first part is c dash c plus dash both together one part this is this is what work object id prefix what do you call this prefix 1 2 3 is called sequential numeric number generated sequential numeric number that has been generated so by default the work object is going to have two parts work object id prefix and work object id is sequential numeric number you may add suffix also that is there in your hand you can change this prefix from c dash to something else you can change the way how this number is getting generated sequential you can change the order to next primary number next primary number next uh, other number even number like that also you can it's up to you you can change it but as of now i am not doing that so so whenever we execute a flow 
work of it gets created work of it travels through the flow from start shape to till end shape on its way to get resolved work of it go through the flow step by step by invoking all the data, transaction data that is part of your transaction will be held by work of it each work of it can be uniquely identified by an id called work of it id by default work of it id is going to have two parts work of it id prefix and work of it id sequential numeric number see there is another terminology to understand just now i told it can be modified okay and now work object right what is that work object i'll tell you a terminology now this is the terminology case any time if i use the terminology work object or if i use the terminology case both meaning same both meaning same case created work object created transaction initiated all these meaning same work object id what do you say what do you say case id this is just to give you an idea about the terminology different terminology we use make sense everyone clear so this is these are the details just high level background details about the option creates a new work object what happens when you select that and execute the flow everyone clear so far anyone has any doubts any questions online let me unmute any questions any doubts do we have a document of this kind of details yes we have everything that i am going to tell each word by word will be there in the document i will be sharing the document so far if you are clear i can proceed forward so these are the points one should understand if someone says no you need to unmute and respond what you did not understand what is the point you don't understand that's what i'm asking you someone who has responded here saying no what is that no for you don't have any questions oh that's what you have replied okay thank you so you understand but you don't have any questions thank you and now uh, this is about uh, just a high level information about work object okay i told you work object holds the information and after you click on submit this work object is going to get stored into a back end table okay see now just for your better idea and understanding so this is this is a table in the back end okay and this is front end prpc application okay so prpc application what is it back end table now the moment you initiate a transaction begin insurance simply initiate a transaction what happens i i'm just giving you object as a circle just for our better understand what is been created work object is been created and what does it has first name last name all this it has along with values now the moment you enter the data and click on submit what will happen this object get stored into table the moment you click on submit object with its id and data gets stored into a table in the back end back end means database this is called as work table what do you call this this is called as work table just for your information now let me tell you about basics of database which you are already aware of which i have told in the last class also in a database you have tables tables will have columns and rows rows is the data rows are data columns are attributes properties see the data will get stored into rows one work object i created work object number 1 i created and i submitted work object will store into table right one row will get inserted okay second work object i submitted second row will get inserted if i create 1000 work objects how many rows will be there in the work table 1000 rows in the work table you have 1000 rows meaning that 1000 work objects are been stored each row in the work table is one work object related entire data so far whatever is there it will be there in future you add more that more data also will reflect in the table will sit in the table everyone clear so work object is been created look at here and you enter the data here 
and here you go and then submit work object has collected all the information right work object holds all the data this work object along with the id and data is going to sit into a backend table as one record that is called as work table that is called as work table now i am going to show you what is that table okay for this see whenever you are installing pega at the time at the very beginning when you have installed pega what has been installed a tomcat server is been installed java is been installed and a database has got yes. installed yes. database yes. created tables created all this right database is already present how do i access a database see if you install a database software if you want to access a database you need an editor editor means some graphical ui okay that graphical ui is also provided along with this that is pg admin environment what is it pg admin environment postgres sql database installed postgres sql pg admin core editor also installed it is you manually install pega also has installed one more now after you open this pg admin environment the editor will be empty editor is there database is there editor is there database is there how do i access database from editor i need to make a connection from my editor to database what is pending task that has to be done by us database is there tables are there everything will be done just with my eyes i wanted to see what is present there for that i need a graphical ui that ui is also there when i open the ui empty that ui using that ui i need to make a connection from my this particular editor ui to database that is present once connection is done whatever the, there is in the database it will reflect in this ui you can access i have already done it okay at the time when you open it you will see servers how many i have two but you will not see anything you need to right click on the server create a server you need to do like this it will ask you name you can give any name of your wish i have given pega 86 for my 8.6 pega version which is there in my laptop pega 87 for 8.7 version which is also there in the same laptop you give some name of your wish but next to tab is important host name you install pega where did you install it must be same you remember while installing you might have observed that local host you remember at the time of installation of pega at one place at one screen you have got 8085432 and i have requested every one of you to change it to 5433 so all of you follow the process of use getting it 5433 after this is done username will automatically reflect as postgres copy the same and paste here password also same and click on save the moment you have given correct details and you click on save then it will it will reflect like this here it is going to reflect like this and you go inside the navigation to the table then where do you have all these steps whatever the steps that i have explained i already have documented these steps step by step anyone with a basic computer knowledge if you follow the document blindly you should be able to make a connection successfully unless you provide wrong details understand for instance and one important thing here is at the time while you open this editor and you make this connection you need to make sure that you are you have your server is up and running and you log into prbs you have mute and you have called and you need to listen someone please mute what is the first thing that you need to do start the prpc server log into prpc server minimize everything follow the document it will be done without starting server and log into prpc even if you follow the document it will never be done okay don't make this mistake and come back to me just that's why i am just stressing it and just telling you okay it is this is also written in the document but the problem is we don't follow it okay strictly we don't follow that is the problem okay uh, people like me not like you okay now here uh, work object is going to get stored into table i told right what is the table in which it is getting stored okay i'll show you that see here i'll directly go to the table okay how to find out this table i'll explain you 
what is our application sba yeah? okay. see here there is a table by name pc underscore sbi underscore fw underscore sbi and sure underscore work is it reflecting any similar name what is this what is the name similar to this name is similar to framework class group framework class group is the one where i created my flow correct now same name there is a table in the back end except one thing is prefixed with pc underscore i will open this table right click on this view data first 100 rows you remember so far while explaining you i created so many work objects i have created almost 10 work objects not almost i created so far 10 work objects that's why I have, how many records i am seeing 10 records okay now see here you don't need to bother about everything only few things i am going to tell you focus on that one important column i'll tell you there is one column in this table this table is generically called a work table work object that has been created gets stored into a table in the back end the table is work table and one of the column in the table is by name pyid what is the name pyid it stores a value you should be able to tell me what is this one work object id value work object id value gets stored in work object stored into work table id value will be there in a column pyid column understand then what about the data? Let's come from the beginning. S slowly, I am going to scroll it. First name, some details, last name, some name. I have entered all the data, right? Do you have each attribute as a column here? Yes or no? Let us try to see that. I'm going slowly. First name, last name, the details which I have entered anywhere. If I find that, I will be stopping. Did you find the data so far anywhere? You don't see the data anywhere in this system. In this table, you don't see the data. First name, Abdul, last name, Kalam, all this is not there. But it has been stored, right? It has been stored. In the same table, it has been stored. But then where it has been stored? It has been stored into a column. What is the name of the column? PZPV stream. What is the name of the column? PZPV stream. What is the format of the data that it has taken? Binary data. So work object ID has been stored into the normal column, PYID. But work object remaining data is there, right? First name, last name, age, gender, state, city, zip code, country, all this. This has been, all this is stored into single column. That column name is PZPV stream. The data format in which it has been stored is binary large objects. In simple term, you call it a blob. The data has been stored in an encrypted format of blob. So you cannot see the data even in the database. Understand everyone clear? So that's it for today. Okay, just I have given you information. From here, we will resume our session on Monday. This is not XML, this is blob. Blob itself is a format. See, I will be sending one doc. I'll show you, hold on. Uh, what is the document I'll be sending you? Understanding what mm -hmm. Hold on. Understanding. Where is it? Understanding. This document I'll share you. Okay. In this document, every point that I have told you so far. Okay. Uh, you re you ignore about uh, the first diagram. This diagram you ignore. I'll tell you later. Dra this is related to draft flow. I'll explain you later. First diagram you ignore. Next, why do we choose PY case management default? I explain you, right? That is given. Draft flow is been explained. And understanding creates in your carpet. Theory document, it is there. I have explained you up to this point, up to here, up to this screenshot. I blob it will show, right? If I open the blob, this is how it looks like. Blob, this is blob format. See, the screenshot, whatever is given, old version. Maybe I believe 8.6 or, sorry, 8 version or 8.2, sometime back. That time, if I double click on this editor, it is displaying like this. I copied to Notepad and I shown you. But today you are not getting it. When you open or edit, it is not showing like that. Don't bother about it. Just go through the document in the Notepad. You can see, even if you see that, there is no use. 
you need to have an understanding it will get stored in blob format binary large objects format in which column phpvc so today we discussed about a table called work table and mainly we focused on two of the columns of the work table what are those columns pyid and pjpv stream what gets stored in pyid column work object id what gets stored into pjpv stream column huh? work object data in which format it will get stored binary large objects blob format understand now i am going to unmute someone has raised their hand hold on what is the question someone who has raised the hand i will share the db setup document also see we are done with allowing the people who have not done the fees payments just hold on a minute on offline how many of you are there one person you have already let me know and how many of other people are there who are at to complete the fees payment who else is there anyone else is there no one else okay everyone has given your name and whatsapp number in this notes everyone will let go chair kada chair ay bolega everyone here uh, just you can wind up i'll share the document online people can wind up and meeting link meeting link for online people will get changed you will be notified tomorrow evening in the group in your group you will get the meeting link you can use that meeting link and you can join from and on words those who are not at done with their fees payment whoever has connected online will not be able to connect from monday onwards and offline also not allowed and how many are there 12345678910234567 chaala mundu unnaru ga serial number 1 1 Seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five after twenty-six. Twenty-eight after twenty-seven. Only come, Ajilam. Twenty-seven. Remaining people. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. But thirty-one names are only there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Who are the two resources after you? One. Okay, I know you all. Inka, one more person. You write your name and what's up. Hello, Arsha. Yes. Online resources. A new meeting link you will be receiving on WhatsApp tomorrow evening. And today is Friday, right? So tomorrow day after tomorrow there is no class. Let me tell you one thing. Next batch of Pega will start from August seventeenth onwards, and the timings are different. Morning seven o'clock. But we used to give the demo sessions only on August seventeenth. Thereafter we used to start. But now because many people are not waiting till August seventeenth. we are going to conduct two more demo sessions in between so first demo session for next upcoming batch will be tomorrow morning 7 o'clock 7 o'clock tomorrow morning anyone who has joined this batch if you had missed attending the demo session for this batch at least you can attend the demo tomorrow right clear if you did not attend the demo session for this batch you missed if you have already gone through video and you are clear no need to attend those who have already attended strictly don't attend okay because we need to only have the names of upcoming batch people except those who are missed here okay and now how many of you are there who who wanted to attend demo session tomorrow who had missed three i know remaining you did not attend demo session live you did not attend you did not attend you did not attend four people you four message me personally what is my number This is my number triple eight six two triple six one nine. I will send you the demo link. You four right away on WhatsApp, 
and online anyone is there who wish to attend the demo session online and you also go ahead and send a whatsapp message if you had missed the demo session attending demo session but you wish to attend tomorrow for this match you are going to send a whatsapp message on this number otherwise i can do one thing i'll send a link to everyone but everyone don't join only those who had missed you join it but still you send me a message maybe you will not be there in the broadcast give me a whatsapp message on this number right away i'll give you the link to connect if you wish to come offline come as as usual you four plus you three you want to come offline tomorrow morning seven o'clock you come offline you don't need to send suppose you want to wish you wish to come offline you don't need to and i will be forwarding the link to join the demo tomorrow to every one of you but only those people who wish to come classroom come down those who wish to connect online connect those who have missed only attend already have attended in the past once don't attend again but why i am forwarding everyone if you have any one of your friends who are looking to join pega training for the future batch you can let them know you can forward this uh link and at the same time you can inform us i have forwarded to so and so person it is their whatsapp number they will be joining demo session tomorrow so that we'll have the tracking of the person who ever is connect understand that's why we are forwarding every one of you but you don't connect to the demo or you don't attend the demo if you have already attended in this batch or in previous batch okay only those who have missed only attend okay so fine i am going to close the meeting let me okay for what i am what am i going to do one more point let me tell you by today we are done so if you are done with fees with fees payment you are allowed from monday even if you wish to do on monday after the class till you are not allowed we have given far more than enough time okay this is much enough time that we have given every one of you after making the fees payment only you have to attend the session otherwise not allowed at all okay no doubt online anyhow if you are connecting you will not receive the meeting link for sure and we will be creating an email group tomorrow itself because for very few resources we can't wait tomorrow after afternoon time evening time tomorrow evening means that will be the morning time for other country people accordingly you will receive a whatsapp message from us with a link of a form google form where you need to fill all your details okay i i need complete details about you first thing where you need to give the whatsapp number which you have in the group okay that number so in that in that uh, google form you need to provide your gmail id preferably gmail id which you regularly use since long back don't go with temporary emails and come back to me and say me that i forgot password i am not able to recover and all we don't agree once we share done okay we never change your email id for any reason in future remember only one mail id allowed one mail id you are giving that should be a gmail id which you are permanently using for everything since beginning so that it will be better you never forget it all phones everything will be linked you can re recover anyhow that is what we want okay this is one thing and the mail email id when you type it you cross check once there is no hurry in filling the form and submitting and leaving cross check once with your eyes the spelling everything is correct or not dot com also people will miss at the rate gmail.com spelling here and there twist it you are going to twist that words and all i mean like alphabets and all cross check once or twice whether you have given the right email id or not and then you submit the form so that we will not get a bounce back and again we have to contact back you you have to contact back me and all and one more important point is after i receive this once i send tomorrow evening by sunday afternoon i need everything but don't wait immediately you fill the form and make sure you take enough time of 2 or 3 minutes and fill the form open the form from your laptop that is better okay and one more thing is the form after you fill it i will be creating a gmail uh, gmail what you call group gmail group with all the email is collecting from there from there so that is the mail group to which i am going to share the documents regularly as of now you are receiving on whatsapp right that is not a good practice i don't like it okay again forwarding from whatsapp to mail and all so monday onwards you will receive all the documents to your mail immediately after the session is done i can do it immediately within 2 minutes right away here i'll open the mailbox and i'll send all group at a time 
done for the first time when i share you email cross check your mailbox thoroughly inbox promotions spam all mail see when i send a message in the whatsapp i have sent a text mail or something people will immediately reply i did not receive i did not receive problem is you did not verify your mailbox strictly you open your mailbox in your laptop in your phone you will verify you will go to spam you will go to all mail you will go to inbox in your phone you say that i did not receive it your phone has not sync with your mailbox that is the problem okay syncing it might be taking time what i can do for that don't give me double work please open your mailbox in your laptop inbox spam promotion everywhere you go now i'll tell you about drive access drive access whatever i am going to give you you will be receiving a mail only for the first time with a link click on the link you will go to drive to see the video center second time onwards do i need to share it keep that link with you every day by 1 o'clock we will add the video every day one one o'clock after you access it video will be there every day don't, don't ask me please send me today's video today's video today's video okay already once if i share the drive it will be there even after you finish the course one and a half month after also you'll have after one and a half month automatically access will get removed that is that will be configured on day one itself and you will be able to view the video any time when you want it is an online video not an offline video you cannot turn clear everyone so far and final point this is optional this is optional especially for the working people i think it is not required okay there is one column in the document there is going to be one column in the google form that you are trying to fill the last column please say about your career prospects and your goals and maybe i will be asking you about whether you have faced any issues in the past what are the mistakes you have done why you are not able to get into it job so how you wanted to streamline your future to be in a right track mistakes are mistakes done gone okay btech lo college gelam ante cinema gellaru okay ayipoyindi odileyandi ikkadi nunchana sariga cheyandi okay so adantha ayipoyindi past past is past leave it so there there are many people who talk to me and they say that i have done this i have done this as a result i am not able to learn now i am not able to focus my focus is very less i am a dull student okay i have to i am a, i am a kind of student who cannot grasp on a single a single time or maybe three times or four times also i cannot grasp i am a slow learner these type of things will be there don't tell me about your financial situation please but you tell me about only anything like this you wanted to share really this is optional again okay so you can write down like i i stay in karim nagar okay i am the only educated person in my family i don't have any proper guidance so far that's why i am not able to achieve so many things in my life this is how i have struggled now i am staying in hostel i am the one who is stay who has to take care of my family this is how the upcoming job, job is important for me this is how you write i can understand about you okay this is what i am expecting you to write or oh, don't write down give me a fees discount this and all you don't write down anyhow it is already done okay but for working employees it is optional why i told see everyone is not uh, uh, everyone do not have the tendency to share but this document will be there only with me accessible only to me no one else i will be reading to understand accordingly i'll communicate back to you later calling each and every person to understand about your background will be difficult for me you can write down like this i am a student from non it background so that i'll have in my mind okay you are non it working employees you can write down like this i am a working employee already working in it industry so on so technology so on so non it job i am learning pega to move on to pega for my career growth i have that data also so that i can accordingly i can focus on it otherwise if i have to make a phone call and get all these details it will take 10 minutes to talk to each one means i may have to spend 20 days to complete all of you it should be highly difficult i'll go through it slowly in 3 to 4 days next upcoming 3 to 4 days and then we can have to have one one to one conversation if required okay so this is the point about the this is the information about the last point which is optional this is up to you you understand what to write and how what to write the matter there right okay write down whatever you wanted to tell me personally and what you wanted to achieve in your life and how do you want to streamline yourself now if you are already in a right track and you are streamline that is well and good okay those who have struggles those who have some obstacles that you feel mention all those let us see let us try to find out the solution how to overcome all these hurdles or obstacles that you have at present
okay clear make sense okay wind up for today we'll continue on monday same time nine o'clock sharp